Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Jacoby the Great channel. You click on this video because you want to learn how to make a thumbnail. So yeah, let me show you how to make this into this right here. So with that being said, guys, let's get it. Okay, so the first thing we started with with this little tablet thing. And I thought of it was an interesting design, really. So I kind of thought, what if I show with them, like, what if I show in the thumbnail what I'm making, but not exactly what I'm making, but like what people are looking to make. Kind of that's the thought process that went behind it. So I pulled pulled up a tablet because I feel like a lot of people watch YouTube on tablets. Pulled that up. And then in the uploads, this is a really good blank slate type of thumbnail right here. I'm going to remove the background real quick so you guys can see this a little bit better. But this right here is one of my favorite blank slates. It's just a really basic Minecraft super flat world. And I just go and put that just right about just right about there. Just trying to line it up about as right as I can. I'm actually going to do it the from the top down though. That just looks a little bit better to me. And then if I can just bring in the sides to make it look a little bit neater. Clean that up a little bit. It's kind of a little bit too small over there and a little bit over there. Try to get it as perfect as per possible. There we go. Now it looks like Minecraft is on a tablet. So that's a, a great look to have right away. Let me just ungroup some of this stuff right here. And then it was kind of just finding like the right things like that we needed. So let me bring this to the very front. This should be forward now. Let me just. Let me try this real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know why that's acting up right there, but yeah. So the next thing was finding a YouTube logo. I thought about using the regular YouTube logo, but I figured just a Minecraft one would be better. You can find, you can either build one yourself or you can find one on like online. I found this one and then it's just lining up right. What would it look like if I made this actually the thumbnail? So it was pretty much just trying to get it into a good spot. If I wanted it right here, or right here. I mean, either one looks good if I wanted to look like it was sitting in the Minecraft world or if I wanted to make it like look like it was put onto the thumbnail. So I figured I'd put it into the green so it'd be more contrast. And then it was pretty much just getting the Minecraft font onto there, get that to fit right and adjust right because it's all going to scale up anyways. And then just getting some nice bold lettering because this is how a thumbnail would look. Get that a little bit smaller in there and that will look all good. And then you obviously need something to point it out well. So this is the arrow I use. If you've seen a lot of my other thumbnails, this is the arrow I use a lot. And then on a thumbnail, you want that arrow to be big and pointing at it, pointing at the YouTube logo. And then just simple as this, just make it put a little bit of text, something that's not the video, just like this, the quote, it's this easy. And just as you can see right there, it's that easy. I mean, maybe if it was an actual thumbnail to scale that up a little bit more, scale that up a little bit more move that in move that like that but yeah that's just showing you how to make that really quick and easy like bam that would pretty much be a thumbnail just like that and then i just group that all together and then now i can move it out as, as one i can scale it up i can scale it down i can put it really wherever i want it to go could put it right here but since it's kind of the main focal point of the thumbnail i want to be as big as possible and honestly, this kind of almost looks better than this one. So I'm, I actually might use this one instead, but yeah, so that's how I make that real quick right there. So let me go and to the next step. And the next step after that is making this pop a little bit more, very quick step, just add some glow or you could add some borders to it. So for me, I just found a glow and then just adjusted it till it got right. So this is the glow right here without the glow with the glow just has a little bit more you can kind of like draw to it but not anything big but it's the little things that kind of count towards the thumbnails okay so the next step after that was making someone to watch the video and sometimes you can do like I, you do a character skin or something so like someone that's watching it or something that you're getting the other focal point to because essentially looking at it there's an eye line here and an eye line here is what people see so you kind of want to do the within those two eye lines is what people are looking at and instead of doing just a regular minecraft skin i decided deadpool wolverine it's the most recent movie that's come out it's been really good so i decided i might as well do that so i got this wolverine little model right here and pretty much just scaled it up a lot to make it big and make it look like he's watching it and that's almost exactly what i did and then deadpool he wasn't looking the right way so i just flipped him the right way and then 
scaled him up like that and then there you go now he's watching it so really it was pretty much just that easy to make the thumbnail like most likely this right here is going to be the thumbnail you are watching for this video so with that being said guys yeah that's pretty much how you make a youtube minecraft thumbnail in 2024 at least for one that's like pretty basic and easy like you can do more stuff like i did the with these i adjusted their color ratios to make them pop a little bit more same thing like with the background image but little things like the glow and stuff like that and then like just making stuff with the text and stuff within the sight lines is just important to keep track of but it's really a lot of trial and error finding out what your audience likes and doesn't like finding out what they respond well to and then kind of taking inspiration from other youtubers but that being said, remember if you guys like this video at any point in time, or a like, comment, subscribe, it helps with the channel. It's very much appreciated by myself. And until next time, guys, peace out. Have a good one. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. I always respond to all of them. And until Friday, guys, have a good one.